Hello there, and welcome to episode 119 of my series where I try to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, I aim to play the maps of each and every single one of Norway's 356 communes to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. And this being the 119th episode, it means that we've come a third of our way through the series. We are making headway. But I have a feeling we might wind up at a dead stop for a bit today, because we're heading into the commune of Snorsa. And Snorsa is in central Norway, nestled up against the Swedish border. It's uh, northeast of the city of Trondheim. And, well, um, most people will know Snorsa from driving on the E6 through the commune. And that is pretty much what I know as well. I think I've gone down this southern road once. I've been to the village of Snorsa itself once. And once upon a time I drove all the way. There's a road you can't actually see here and that's a godsend because there is a, I drove all the way up here on an absolute horrific piece of road in a tiny car. And uh, it was just a miracle I made it back down again. So um, Snorsa is a lot of wilderness and uh, one big lake and a tiny village and an even smaller village. So we'll see what we will be facing after we've had a look at some facts about the commune. Snorsa is, as you can see, uh, an area that also has a Sami name, uh, or a Sami version of the name of the commune. Uh, that is because Snorsa has, is sort of the center of the southern Sami, and uh, also plays a vital role in, pre in preserving uh, the regional Sami language. <coughs> And these languages are, well, there are several Sami, Sami languages and uh, they're pretty much all in danger of extinction. So, and uh, particularly this one in this area. Okay, so we are on a road to a place that leads somewhere and the crossroads is somewhere there called Dravlan. It's a north-south road. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Which has me thinking that we could be up here. Like, um, probably not. Okay, so we're not up here. Could we be on this road, for instance? Mm. That's a no. Because we're way too close to that bend. If it was here, the road would have to go off like that. So that's not the place. Hmm. Uh, could we be on this one? That's probably more likely. Oh, this road is long. But I think I will take my chances with this one. Uh, I have a fear. So this is the road that's eventually going to wind up on the E6. Yes. And I have a feeling. Let's just check if it does the switch back. It does. Yep. And this is definitely the place. And we should have a road going off to the side. Fairly soon, this one. Yep. Okay, so we are in this crossroads, or this junction, or whatever you prefer to call it. Bang on. And I have a feeling that might have been the last time we said that. Um, sort of looks familiar. 
have a feeling this might be on the road up to that place where I went all those years ago. And I think the road goes like so. No, not there. It's just a war and a tiny roads up here. So I have a feeling that we might be up here somewhere, but that is just that. It's a feeling. And uh, that's not much to go by, is it? Um, let's see if we can see the, the railroad that runs through the area. Uh, and we're going north. Uh -huh, let's see what we've got here. Bergsauna. It's not Bergsauna, but Bergsauna. So that means sort of the, the, the arming of the hill. Now, let's see. We are heading... We've been on a northerly heading. So we could be like here, for instance. Is it going to be that simple? So look at that road. It does bend the right way. And uh, let's see. We have this road going up into the farmyard. And the road is going back onto the road. And then this road will make a very tight turn. Yes. Good. Okay, so we are on this stretch then, right? Just going to confirm that. Yep, we are. And we are pretty close to where that bend ended. Actually so close that I'm inclined to say we're sort of still on it. So if I say that we are, well, this could be a tricky one because this, well, this bend, the property of this bend. So, <laughs> I'll say, I want to say we're here. That could be off, but not by too much. Right, okay, freight train, railway line, and where are we? Are we at the Yerstal? Grunnera, okay, so Grunnera, that's an, that's an, air, that's, that's an airstrip or airfield, and uh, apparently a beach as well. Now, let's see, where is Grunnera then? Hmm. Okay, now we are in the next commune. Back in Stainshed, which we did a while ago. Hmm. I think Grenada should be here. But that's not right, because the railroad is running on the north side of the road. So that probably means not here either. Could we be here? Alderness Gord. Um, Alderness, yes. The alder, as in the tree. road and uh, we are let's see so perpendicular to the road I'm looking which of these buildings I'm looking at hmm yeah, that's the next question let's see um this is slightly awkward Hmm. 
My instincts want to say that it's that one that I'm looking at there, but that, that, that doesn't match at all. Am I still in the right place though? I could be... no, we're not here. So, but yeah, this is definitely the crossroads. So see, if I look in that way, I'm looking at that one. And that one. Have they, have they torn down some buildings here? Okay, so I'm looking north of this one. Hmm. Seems like this building has been taken down. So roughly there, I would say. Is, the, is there a bus stop here? Let's see, I might be fooling myself something rotten here. Um, but yeah, there are definitely buildings here that are not on the map. And that's a bit of a problem. Hmm, this one is a bit of a humdinger. Actually, I think this is that. And if that is the case... This is probably more like it. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. <clears throat> Two meters away, good. Oops. Not good. Seven meters away. Ooh, ooh, by the skin of our teeth. Uh, oof. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Anywhere near, oh, I'm gonna be so chuffed. Oof, <laughs> was off by a lot. Um, oh wow, I was a lot closer to the camping site than I believe it was. Ah, carp. We need to do a second playthrough. That was uh, that was unfortunate. It started well, but then it turned very hard. Okay, playthrough number two coming up. Well, this proved to be about as hard as I thought it would be. So. Um, Let's just see if we can get lucky with one of these playthroughs. Okay, here we're probably... Yeah, this looks familiar. Sort of. So I guess this is heading down into Snorsa proper. Even if the road is anything but proper. As you can see, this is a very agricultural commune. As you can see, it says... Furbergsmarka. Let's see... So we are, let's see, where could this be? Hmm. Well, I'll have to look a little further.
That doesn't look very industrial, does it? But it could well be... No, I don't think it's that road. Well, actually, it could... Could very well be that road. Let's see, do we... Will we counter another road? Just past this thing here. So now we're going into Snosa proper. And that must be that road. Because now we're going to go straight into uh, down village Snosa. Yep. Okay, so we are on this road. Next step, we're on it. So house is very close to the road. So it's got to be here somewhere. Could be that house, for instance. Mm. Phone tree. Yes, that's going up here. So that house is that one. Well, this one must be this. And the one in the trees here is that one. Okay. Mm. So it kind of looks like we're looking at the western corner of this building. Like so. Let's try that. Good. And we're on the E6. And unfortunately not in a good spot. Yeah. Hena Rosen. Uh, which is up here, and let's see, there are a couple of crossroads to Hjernarosen. I think this might be the one in question. Yeah, most likely. No. This is weird then. Well, actually, no, the road does do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit like that. Hmm. The slightest of bends. Right. So we have to count again. Well, I think I'm going to use this one, which is that one. And then I'll count, count my way to that one as well. Well, nothing for it. I just have to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Is this it? I strongly believe it is. Yes, it is. Right, so instead of counting my way to death down the other way, how about I assume that this person is keeping a sort of regular speed. So let's fire from somewhere here up there. Now how far from that to there? One, two, three, four, five right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so if that is thirteen that is six and a half Six and a half there. I'm going to say that five is here. Hmm. How many stripes? One, two, three, four. Yes, about 30 meters there. 
And that looks pretty good, actually. Let's try that. Yes, nice. Oof, and we are on the E6 again, and this time... Hmm, where is this again, then? Let's see, southwest... Oh, we got this river thingy, are we? Okay, someone was driving at night. These images are old as sin. I know where we are. Right, yes. So we are... Um, we're up on this lake. So here's the lay-by, which we are currently at, I think. No, this is the lay-by. And this was the uh, picnic spot we just passed. So we come and are oh, just on the edge of the lake. Almost. There's a long, long, long hill going up this way. And then there's a long, long, long hill going down the other way. Mm, and this is not going to be an easy one. There's some slight bending, but that's not going to help us. Mm. Okay, so we are... If I look directly to the east, it kind of seems like we're looking at the end of the lake. Let's see, go properly east. Actually, we're looking past the end of the lake, I think. So, if I say that we are sort of there, and on the other side of the road, oh, sorry, we were on the right side of the road. I don't really know if I can make a better guess, because these bends are so slight they will hardly register if I try to count them. And mm, it looks like I'm slightly closer to that than to this one, but. Uh, <laughs> now I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, thank goodness me. And we're getting a respite here. Um, this is. This is on the road into Snorsa, isn't it? So I think we actually have... Okay, so v Osen. v Osen is... Just as you approach Snorsa. And, um... Let's see. So here we are right on the lake. The road has gone north. With a slight bend to it. Three buildings here. Do we have four? Well, that one is at an angle. But this has to be out there because we got that barn, oh, that house down there. I think they will probably be off in a different call it a barn because it's a garage. Of some sort, and let's see. So, this house we're looking. Ah, oh, wait a minute. So, how's this working then? Looks like a really a weird conglomerate of building his buildings here. So, so that one is that one. So I'm gonna say, ah, I'm gonna say we're there, which is close enough. Ooh, and then one of these again. But we have a paved road. That is important. And that 
junction has to be possible to find. Now I have no particular reason to go in the direction I picked. And there's another crossroads. Hmm. And we're following a river. Could we be heading up into because we're going west. Hmm. Are we climbing? Only a Gravbröt. Okay. So, hmm. Could we be... I don't know the names of the places up here. That's a problem. So could we be, like, on this road? Let's see. No, that does not compute. How tight is this bend? Quite. Enough to take us from northwest to northeast. Okay, where do we find a northwest to northeast bend around here? Here, for instance. No, that is probably not the place. There wasn't the road gone off to the side here, was it? No. No, this doesn't match. Okay. But I am going to find this road. So it probably wasn't that road. And now we're back on there. Okay, so it might have been one of these then. Here? Gravbröt. Foss Gravbröt waterfall. Right, let's see if we can figure out where we were. So let's just go back. It wasn't that far, was it? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cross a river before long. Here's the bridge with the waterfall. A tiny but scenic one. Okay, and then as we come across, we have this crossroads here. Now, that is that. And then we have this crossroads here with all oh, this junction which is visible. Okay, and we are in luck because we are looking just past the southern edge of that building. Which places us here. And I'm going to be desperately unhappy if that is wrong. There we go. I finally cracked Snorza. And, uh, well, that was a pretty speedy second playthrough. The first one took a while. But I'm quite happy with that. So, that's episode 119 in the bag. Come back tomorrow for episode 120. See you then. Bye-bye.